I have a simple question for you. How many innocent Palestinian civilians, men, women, and children, does Israel have to slaughter? How many war crimes does Israel have to commit? How much death and destruction does Israel have to visit on the people of Gaza and Palestine before you will call for and impose sanctions on Israel and expel the Israeli ambassador from this country and call for the immediate referral of Israel to the International Criminal Court for crimes against humanity and war crimes. Because in front of the world, by their own admission, Israel is committing war crimes. They have stated it publicly. This isn't a matter of opinion. Uh, they declared their intention to force through the threat of military bombardment, more than a million, and it is now well more than a million, Palestinians from their homes in northern Gaza and ethnically cleanse them. A crime against humanity. They stated publicly and have done it in front of the eyes of the world, the intention to deny to 2.2 million people water, electricity, medicine, uh, life-saving uh, equipment in front of the eyes of the world, and they're doing it. And every minute, children are being slaughtered uh, by their artillery, their relentless bombardment of residential complexes, of hospitals, of schools, uh, of civilian infrastructure. They just go on and on and on, and you do nothing. Nothing. Words of concern, but no action to hold them to account. And it is clearly premeditated war crimes and genocide. Genocide. We have Jewish uh, people in the United States and Canada around the world and Israel calling it genocide. Uh, scholars, academics saying this is genocidal. Let me quote you a few things. Israeli general, quote, human animals must be treated as such. There will be no electricity and no water. There will only be destruction. Uh, Yoav Gallant, a minister, says we are fighting human animals. We will, quote, act accordingly. Every, we will remove, quote, every restriction on the IDF. Smotrich, another minister, there is no such thing as the Palestinians. The president of Israel refers to the people of Gaza and says they are all responsible. Before October the 7th, Netanyahu appear, appeared in front of the UN General Assembly with a map of Israel that had removed all references to Palestine. A clear declaration of intent to destroy the Palestinian uh, people uh, and steal all of their land. 6,000 Palestinians killed between 2008 and before October the 7th. Thousands of Palestinians hostage in administrative detention without trial. Deputy, when sanctions. are you going to move beyond words of concern and impose sanctions and expel the Israeli ambassador of this apartheid murderous state? First of all, first of all I'm horrified by every single death. But you see, the world is responsible for failing to call out the reality of the Israeli regime. It is an apartheid regime. It was set up on the basis of the ethnic cleansing of 750,000 Palestinians. It has sustained itself through the ethnic cleansing ongoing of Palestinians, day in, day out, in East Jerusalem, uh, across the West Bank, uh, everywhere. Even where Hamas, there's no Hamas. I mean, I lived there. At the beginning of the first Palestinian Antifada in 1987, there was no Hamas. Young people rose up because they were, their entire future had been stolen from them. They were suffering ferocious oppression at the hands of the Israeli regime and military, and they rose up. There was no Hamas. The PLO weren't even in the country. They were in Tunis. And Israel met them with brutality, with murder, with administrative detention, with ethnic cleansing, and they have continued that day in, day out. And yet, your government refuses to keep, even call them an apartheid regime. You refuse to acknowledge the ethnic cleansing, the war crimes that 
Human rights organisation after human rights organisation has begged and appealed to you and European governments to hold them account to end their impunity. The, the world has given them the license to conduct the savagery they are doing now and they are responsible for the crimes that we are witnessing. If we want to end the murder, we have to hold Israel accountable for its crimes.